Hello everybody and welcome to Star Sector UAF Carriers Only Waifus Let's Play Episode 22 and it is finally here. Queen Area Charlotte, reputation 52 out of 100. The option to ask about access for the November market is here. You might be wondering what, what happened between episode 21 and 22. Well, I went and did a bunch of missions for rep farming uh, and I do have a couple of highlights for you. So I'm gonna get you to those first and then bring you back afterwards. But if you do like this video, hit that like button, consider subscribing and don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Links in the description below. But here you go, highlights of what happened between the two episodes. Hey everyone. So uh, I was just doing some offline uh, stuff. I was just farming reputation with Queen Area because I felt like it was a little too boring um, for you guys to put you guys through just constantly grinding through pirates over and over and over and over again. Um, however, uh, we just got engaged by a massive pirate armada. Um, and I figured that I kind of had to show you this battle. So uh, <laughs> here it goes. Here it goes. We're going to deploy everything. Now, we've just been killing a bunch of pirates, which is why our CR is down everywhere across the board. Um, because we've literally just been like going combat to combat to combat to combat to combat. Um, fighting pirates in the system for rep. Um, so this is like it's adding an, an additional level of challenge to uh, to this battle, which you know is, is kind of exciting actually. Um, uh, plus eighty percent difficulty. Um, I th I still think we've got this in the bag in terms of like dip, like winning the battle, but uh, it's uh, probably the biggest pirate fleet I've ever faced. So yeah, that's a fun and interesting time. Um, we're we're almost there, by the way. At, the, at this current point, we're at forty-two out of a hundred rep for, for for area now. We're trying to get to fifty so we can give her the ice cream. So that is uh, all we get. We're we we're, we're closing in on that. We're closing in on that. Uh, we got a lovely we got a lovely bounty here in New Biscay um, to just kill pirates um, like a system bounty. And uh, so. Uh, we've been farming the rep up really fast, which has been lovely. Absolutely lovely. Glorious, glorious fighters. Just eliminating pirate ships across the board. This is a big battle. It is slightly, like, uh, slightly dropping in frames. <laughs> There's so many ships on the field. But then there's also so many ships like, oh, I didn't put autopilot on. <laughs> the Aurora Redemptio was just literally just floating through the battle. In comes a nuke. -hoo -hoo! There goes a Colossus and a Shrike. There goes a Colossus and a Shrike. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. Uh... We have got this in the bag, big time. Big time got this in the bag. Lovely, stunning, gorgeous. I wonder how much rep this battle is gonna give us actually. I feel like this battle should probably give us like a good chunk of rep, we'll see. Look at all these missiles just hitting the <laughs> hitting the carcass of their friend. <laughs> Yosin's just getting. Just using the the the, rem the remains of one of the pirate ships as a shield. I love that. I love that. Hoo -hoo. Everything is just going kaboom. I want to see. I want to see this atlas go boom. Come on, show me this atlas go boom, guys. That's it. You got this. You got this, waifus. You got this. There it goes. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let's see. Apparently, apparently the 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 Aurora Demtio. I'm not sure where we are. Um, is is falling back. So we will come and give you guys a better. There we go. Now we can see everything. Looks like it's gonna be a solid victory for us. Nothing to worry about. But uh. I'm glad I brought you guys along for this. 
a little bit of a highlight of the uh, the offline rep farming, I guess. <laughs> There's the other Atlas. Starting to get pounded. Armor is dropping. Hull is dropping. Should go down any moment. Oh. Oh. Gotta wait for another strike to come through. Wait for another strike to come through. The only issue with these Atlas is they, they, they are covered in point defense. So they can actually be pretty rough for fighters. But uh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Couple of a couple of Colossuses. Only a single Colossus now. And, oh, the raffles here. Yes, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girl raffles here. Taking out the other Colossus with those bombs. And the Condor goes down as well. And there we go. <laughs> our CR, our CR really, yeah, we've really got to give it our CR a chance to recover. <laughs> We're going to let them go, though. Um, and we will have 30,000 credits salvaged from that. Um, we will take everything. We'll drop the metals back off. And we have a Vengeance Fleet, a Pirate Vengeance Fleet Level 2 launching in 20 days. But also, we got three more rep with Queen Area Charlotte. So we are now at 45 out of 100, closing in on that 50 mark. Um, but for now, uh, I will uh, let you guys get back to the episode that you're actually watching and not be Tim from the past. Well, it would appear that you are not going to get to watch the current episode too much. <laughs> Because I've got another huge battle here for you. A pirate hit fleet has been sent after us. And look at that. Four atlases. A ton of cruisers. Uh, literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 cruisers and four battleships have been sent after us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move into engage. And we are going to fight this. And it's going to be gorgeous and beautiful. And we're going to have a great time. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Astari bumped into the... <laughs> the Astari bumped into the asteroid. And the... Um, the Aurora Redemptio just just, just, just put, put her nose straight up her ass. Oh dear. Oh dear. There you go, Astari. That's it. On you go. <laughs> oh, bless your rotten cottons. Bless your rotten cottons. Okay. There's a falcon. And... There is no longer a falcon. <laughs> There's another Falcon over here. Oh, there's a face ship. There's a dirty little face ship. It's about to die, though. There it goes. All right, this Falcon. Let's let's make it. Let's make it no longer exist. And oh, those menace cars with those Reapers. Those menace cars with those Reapers. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Let's see. There goes a Gambit. There goes another Gambit. Beautiful. 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 There goes one of the Colossuses already. Let's get a let's get a viewpoint closer into the battle, shall we? We'll link up with the Astari, who, as always, is right at the front of the field. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Astari, the Astari ever be anywhere but the very, very front of the field. Boom! The Raffles here takes out Adventure. Absolutely gorgeous. The raffles you takes out adventure. Stunning and exquisite. Stunning and exquisite. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, semi brief goes off. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, luckily, luckily it doesn't look like we took any friendly fire there. The semi brief hit some. Ooh, there's an explosion. Um. The, I think the semi brief hit like some 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 uh, wreckage and uh, exploded early there. Unfortunately, that's okay. That's okay. We didn't take any sort of like major friendly fire because of it. So, no harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. 
Um, I wasn't expecting to have such big battles, honestly. I was just like, I'll just do the little rep farm off off um, off camera, you know, so that you know, so that when we go to the next episode, it's there and it's done, and you guys don't have to sit through me like just killing pirates for an hour or two. Um, I think it's been, I think it's been, I think I've been at it for about an hour and a half now, so it would have been like two episodes worth. Um, uh, and that's 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 just not. That's not particularly exciting, but at least giving you the highlights of uh, of some of the larger battles, I think, is the best way to, to go about doing that. Giving you guys the highlights is the best way to go about doing that. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and pursue. Second in command. Just take these ships. Uh, continue. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Fix through that wreckage. Take all. Lovely. And there we go. Our relationship with Area Charlotte has just gone to 52 out of 100. So, hilariously, this is going to be, or in just a moment, you guys are going to be at the start of the episode that you're actually watching. Timey wimey. <laughs> and so it is time. It is time to ask for access. We will offer her the vanilla ice cream. <laughs> huh? Why do you ask me that? Don't you know I'm busy? You can see slight annoyance as you ask about administration business with the Queen. Well, I am sorry, Queen Area, but I have vanilla ice cream for you. Wait, isn't that the ice cream from Thelonious? Can I get some? You give the ice cream to the Queen, suddenly having a childish vibe around her as you show her the ice cream. She seems to enjoy the dessert happily as you wait for a while. Oh, right, permit. Yeah, go on. She said while having a mouthful of vanilla frozen ice cream. We'll express my gratitude and leave her to enjoy the ice cream. And now, if we go, we have access to the November Auxiliary! How exciting. Ooh, this is a... The Revere? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. That is, like, only five ordnance points for four Horizon Interceptors. That's interesting. That's, that's very affordable. It's very affordable. But we now have access to a whole lot more things, including... Including... Exoria M's and Minoria M's. And this is this is what's really exciting. The, the the ability to just buy Exoria M's now from the November Auxiliary is huge. However, one of the things that I haven't shown that uh, we did indeed actually uh, get sorted out is that uh, during the highlights, a bunch of different events happened. And those are the one of the missions that we picked up from the Queen for rep was to buy a new Xoria SP, as you can see right here. Um, and that cost us only 320,000 credits. So it was an absolute steal. Um, and it also got us some rep. So we have another new Xoria SP to add to the fleet and we need to get that fitted. The hegemony and the Aurorans made peace. So the war against the hegemony has unfortunately come to a standstill for now, but not necessarily forever. We might, uh, we might send the waifus to war with the hegemony, if you get what I mean. Maybe, 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 maybe. We did do a bounty mission where we had to kill, or we had to hunt down some deserters, and we managed to salvage a Isonoria, a Juliet, and a Woe from that battle. So we have gotten those as well. And then on top of that, if we go to... Uh, the storage here and we go to our fleet we also we also got a uaf uh sorry a uh a minoria sp for our fleet um from uh from having blueprint access uh we had uh nano forge access and we were allowed to use their blueprints and so i ordered a minoria sp to be built so all in all, 
Uh, a lot happened, and we gained a lot. And we uh, you also notice we were up at like almost a million and a half credits as well. So things are just going very, very well for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these ships refitted, and I will bring you back when I've done that. Okay, so I would love to introduce you to the Waifus September. And the September was a name suggested by commenter Makinor Sensei that I really like. Uh, so the September is going in. And then uh, it has two Exoscar Torpedo Bomber Wings, two Super Aria Superiority Fighters, and two Forlorn Fighter Wings. Um, to complement its fighter force. It also has integrated targeting unit and nav relay built in. Um, it also has expanded deck crew, recovery shuttles, 50 points in vents, and 3 points in capacitors. Then, we have the Waifus Lycoris. The Waifus Lycoris, the, the name Lycoris, was suggested by commenter Troutsheim. Uh, thank you, Troutsheim. Uh, and the Lycoris is currently missing a large hybrid, and that's because I'm looking for either a Weiss 3 flat, Custer Flak or a Tria C Wiz, but uh, can't find them anywhere at the moment, so it's left empty uh, for the time being. It does have the Mini Rest ASM uh, multi stage cruise missile, which is super, super exciting. Um, it also has a Naga MFA uh, advanced attacker wing to support the Raffles here. Uh, it has 50 points in vents. It also has a flux distributor, recovery shuttles, expanded deck crew. It has ECM package built in, and it has 28 points in capacitors. Obviously, these capacitor points here are just temporary until we can fill this large hybrid slot, and we will like clear those out to fill that. Then we have the waifus Karamura, and the Karamura was suggested by commenter No You. Uh, so thank you, No You. Your your suggestion has become part of the fleet. Um, and the Karamura just has efficiency overhaul, high resolution sensors, and vents and capacitors. Then we have the Waifu's Beelzebub. And the Beelzebub was a name suggested by the uh, wonderful Frost Nova 110. Thank you, Frost Nova. Again, efficiency overhaul, high resolution sensors, and capacitors uh, for the Beelzebub. And then we have the Waifu's Megami. And the Megami was a name suggested by Cory Kuro. Uh, so thank you for that. And the Megami has two Salamene MSM pods, two Meripaka 20 EPDs, and then it has a Naga MFA advanced attacker wing and a forlorn fighter wing with expanded deck crew and hardened subsystems. So there we go. The fleet has grown significantly. Uh, let me just go ahead and move these ships into their correct positions in the fleet. Three Nuxoria SPs now, by the way. Mm, 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 mm. We have a grand total of six battleships. A grand total of six battleships as part of the fleet, uh, which is absolutely stunningly magnificent, is what I'd say. It's stunningly magnificent. Obviously, those demods will um, come off of those ships given time. Uh, the... There's three on the Lycoris, one on the Beelzebub, and three on the Karamura. Though Those will come off with time. But for now, we have 25 ships in our fleet, um, which is fantastic. I am probably going to go into the .json, uh, the settings.json, and increase this number from 30 to maybe 50, I think. Um, which will obviously benefit both me and the enemies. It's not like it's a one-sided thing. It means the enemies will be able to have... 50 ships in their fleets as well. Um, so that's exciting. It uh, looks like my frame rate has died again. So I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and save and reboot the game real quick. And there we go. We are back with FPS. So, 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 so. The fleet is now in a magnificent position. The fleet is now in a magnificent position of being huge and fantastic and wonderful. Um, but we have things to do. And what are the things that we have to do? Well, isn't that the question? We, uh, I, I looked at how much it would cost to build the, the Nova area, by the way. I looked at how much it would cost to build the Nova area. And once we got the blueprint, it would cost... <laughs> 
95 million credits to construct. Yes, that's right. 95 million credits to construct the Dreadnought. Uh, which is just a, a very, very large amount of money. <laughs> um, so... So, I'm... You know how I said that the end of this playthrough would be getting a Nova area by building it? Um... Oh, what the hell just happened over there? A Dasso Mikoyan Grand Invasion fleet. Oh, let's uh, let's join this battle. Let's join this battle. Uh, honestly, we can second in command this. Yeah, we can second in command this. We will just we'll, we'll just send in the three Nuxorias. <laughs> um, we will take all. There is, oh my goodness. <laughs> there is so much combat going on. There is so much combat going on. It's magnificent. I'm just get in and salvage all of this. Get in and salvage all of it. Lovely. Lovely. And there's ships all over the place. There's a Zelenograd there. We will go ahead and salvage that Zelenograd. Yes, we will. There's an Inazuma. We'll salvage up the Inazuma. Ah. Huh. Well. I guess that's what happens when you try to mess with the UAF in their own system. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you try and mess with the UAF in their own system. Look at the amount of fleets flying around right now. The amount of fleets flying around Lunar Moon is incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. Um, so, um, what I think, um, what I think might be the smart thing to do for us, uh, is to adjust the parameters of the playthrough, because I didn't know, I didn't know it was going to be that expensive when I first set the parameters, I had no idea that the, the that it was going to cost us 95 million credits, uh, to to do and it is possible so it is possible so i'm gonna i'm going to uh put it to you guys in the comments would you want to watch me grind episode on episode for money um to try and get the 95 million credits or would you be happy with the end goal being um adjusted let me know in the comments below. I'd love to I'd love to love to hear what you think about that cuz I just don't think it will be entirely entertaining for you guys to be along for the ride of me just grinding out 95 million credits over a very long period of time. Um I just I just don't think it probably will, but I'm willing to defer it to your guys' judgment. I'm willing to defer it to your guys' judgment. For now, we're just going to go pick up a whole chunk of supplies so that we're nice and loaded up. Um and we honestly uh, probably want to uh, figure something out. We probably want to figure something out. And what is it that we want to figure out? I, I want to see one of the things that we want to do is we want to we want to get um, we want to get uh, access to the automata division as well. So. Um, Let's a pocket battleship. A Ryzen? No, thank you. Special pirate fleet bounty. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do, and I know this is kind of crazy, um, uh, but apparently this episode is just kind of a highlights episode. I'm actually going to um, stop the recording here. I'm going to pick up this. Um, I'm going to pick up this bounty. I'm going to go and grind uh, out rep for, uh, for the robot queen um, to 50 uh, doing this bounty. Uh, killing a bunch of pirates and uh, I will bring you back and you might see some highlights if anything exciting happens uh, We'll see But uh, see you soon. So it turns out they didn't like me uh, Killing a lot of their system <laughs> pirates So they decided to group up and send a whole lot against us So I figured I'd bring you guys in for a, a little bit of a little bit of fun uh, With this combat we're gonna go ahead move into engage 
It's only a plus five percent, but it looks it looks like it's going to be kind of fun. We're going to go ahead and just like overkill deploy here. Um, 477 deployment points. We're going to go ahead and send the Avenger there and the Mirai there. And we're going to sit back and enjoy watching three Nuxorias, two Isonorias, a Zaporia and a huge support fleet go off on <laughs> the enemies. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. This is going to be wonderful. I've been doing a few battles up to this point and just seeing the two Raffleseers fly in and just eliminate targets is just so wonderful to watch. It really is beautiful. Okay. Let's see. We've got some ships coming in on the right hand side and the entire fleet is just like, you, you die first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness and there it goes see you later eradicator it's kind of like see you later alligator but see you later eradicator I might, I might start saying that a bit more often now star sector memes is there, is there, a, is there a ship that sounds kind of like the crocodile so I can be like see you later eradicator in a while Crocodile. I need. Yeah, I need. I need a. I need a. I need a star sector ship that sounds kind of like crocodile. And then, and, oh, there's a nuke. There's a semi breathe. See you later, Eradicator. <laughs> what is going on with your engine right now? You're, like sending out puffs of puffs of fart gas behind you. Um. <laughs> Puffs of fart gas. Oh, it's gorgeous. Not the puffs of fart gas is the combat. All right, I, I, I wasn't saying that the puffs of fart gas were gorgeous. <laughs> oh, frame rate. Frame rate. I tell you, what, I've given this game everything I can give it resources wise. But I think um, eventually battles just get to be so big that. Uh, <laughs> it's just not much you can do. There's just not much you can do but say like, oh well, I'll 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 take the frame rate hits. It's honestly it's alright though, because as 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 ships die, the frame rate goes back to being nice and smooth, which is quite nice. As ships die, the frame rate goes back to being quite smooth. Um Oh look, those are the those are the are those the experimental? No, they weren't the experimentals. Um that is the wrong ice no this is the ice with the experimentals i really want to see those experimental cruise missiles fire i really should be uh trying to look out for that because i haven't seen it happen yet and i really want to see what they do uh it looks like though not gonna have too much of a chance here uh not gonna have too much of a chance here um oh are those the experimentals i think those might be the experimental cruise missiles oh yeah look at them they break apart so like they 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 track they track guided and then when they get near to their target they break apart into a, like a cluster um, of unguided that's tra that travels really fast. Interesting. That's very cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, what's left? A couple of uh, a couple of Colossus and some refuelers. Honestly, we are going to pursue them, uh, and we will just take them down. Wow, we didn't. Get them all? Damn, that's a shame. Uh, we'll go ahead and take everything there. Um, oh, we're engaged straight away again. Oh my goodness, by another massive fleet. <laughs> well, let's move into engage. Let's move into engage. I, I guess you guys are getting like the full the full highlight here. We're gonna we're gonna not bring Andromeda in in favor of bringing Megami in instead here. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy. Uh, Mirai, go there. Avenger, go there. Um, Megami, no, I'm not going to send you to beta Megami. Don't worry. <laughs> well, this is, uh, this is a nice way to, to farm rep with Robot Queen. The lovely Robot Queen. Um, and, uh, and, you know, at the same time, uh, get some glorious, glorious battles. Field test the new Nuxoria. Field test the new Isonoria. Lovely. Lovely. 
I do feel like at this point in time, we're probably good on three Nuxorias, two Isonorias, and a Zaporia. I think we're good on battleships at this point in time. I think I think we don't need more battleships. I think what we need now is just more Exoria M's and more Minoria SPs. I really do think that's the case. Maybe some more Shinoria SPs as well, if we can get them, like the Jotun. I do like the Jotun a lot. Um, I mean, I like I like the regular Shinoria as well. Astari's been a staple of the fleet for a very long time. But given the choice, I would go for a for, for a for a for an SP over a um over a regular, you know. Oh, there goes a semi brief. There goes a semi brief. Ah, it's gonna get shot down, right? Or it's gonna miss. It's gonna miss. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna miss. <laughs> Oh, no, it hit something. It hit something all the way back up there. It did. It actually hit something. Amazing. Amazing. Incredible. <laughs> Here come the two raffles years. Here come the two raffles years. What are their targets? That's the question. This one's coming in. Kaboom. Kaboom. There goes the eradicator. This raffles you goes, oh, that was my target. I guess I'll go for something else. Immediately 180s. But it looks like it can't can't quite catch their target. Oh, their target is changing again. Uh, where are they going? Are they going back home? No, they're turning up. <laughs> Things are just dying too fast for the raffles to even get to them. There's so much going on on the screen right now. There's just so much going on on the screen right now. It's incredible. Go on, raffles here. You got this. You got this. <laughs> Come on, get it. Get it, Raffles here. You got it. Hey, nice. Great work. Wait, did you get both of the Colossuses then? Oh, wow, the Raffles here actually got them both. It got them both. Amazing work, Raffles here. Amazing work. Proud of you. Proud of you, my girl. Proud of you. <laughs> Woo -hoo, it's a lot of ships. It is a lot of ships. Ooh, those Meniscars are going deep. Wow, the Meniscars straight into the back line. Take out a Colossus. <laughs> that was some that was some that was some deep Meniscar action right there. Some deep Meniscar action. The Zaporia is moving up with all her missiles. The Isonoria here, is that the... Oh, there's a semi brief explosion. There's a semi brief. Oh, almost overloads the flux on that Atlas. But it doesn't look like we've got any fighters to follow up and continue up the pressure there. Um, although the, the Isonoria here with their Suarez's is uh, maintaining pressure a little bit. This Atlas is prime real estate right now. Oh, here come the Meniscars. Oh, in the backside with the Reapers. The Meniscars eliminate the Atlas with no problem whatsoever. That was absolutely gorgeous. The, the, the Atlas put its shields up facing away from the Meniscars. The Meniscars went boom. There's our target. Flew in three Reapers. Kaboom. The Atlas was no more. That was absolutely stunning to witness. Absolutely stunning to witness. Oh. I, I, I've, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I really do think that the Meniscars are actually like the hidden MVPs of this fleet. I really do feel like the Meniscars are the hidden MVPs of this fleet. The amount of strikes that they've hit where they've managed to get past the opponent's shields, drop some Reapers in and just blow up a target is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, truly. We're going to go ahead and um, we're going to let these guys go. Um, so that we can engage them later on and get even more reputation. <laughs> We're going to take everything here. Whoo, that's a lot. That's a lot. We'll go ahead and salvage um, and grab all of that. Fantastic. And then let's maybe sit back for a little moment. Let's sit back for a moment. There's another fleet coming in. Um, sit back for a moment. Let's get some of our CR up. Um, 144 supplies a day right now. Anyway, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. Whoa. Did a new bounty just pop, pop up? 
I don't know. What's our what's our what's our rep with Robot Queen now? Thirty three. Nice. And we're back. Fifty one out of a hundred. Reputation with the Robo Queen means that we now have access to the automata market. She says, but sure, why not? You helped us around a lot already. Go ahead and take a look. I just greenlit your permit. Thank you, Robo Queen area. We now have access to automata logistics, which is very, 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 very. Very, very, very exciting. <laughs> and uh, I believe that um, the automata uh, do get some unique fighters as well. I do believe that to be the case. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm pretty sure. But if we go to fleet and we go to buy and we go to automata logistics, we now see the SP variants, the Shinoria SPs, the Nuxoria SPs, the unfortunately no Minoria SPs, which is what I'd really like to pick up right now. But 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 still, we have access. We have access to it all. It is so very exciting and so very very excellent. And I am very, very ready for it. Indeed, I am. We have now made friends with both of the queens. Or we have impressed both of the queens. Uh, it is This episode has probably, you know, taken me uh, about three hours to record. <laughs> just just, just grinding all the rep and, uh, and the like. But, but there we go. We have done it. Uh, we now have access to all of the ships, which means that theoretically we should now have access to the Tau fans. I can't, I can't remember if the Tau fans are November or Automata, but we should now have access to the Tau fans. Uh, I think the question being is, uh, do we have to? Uh, do we have to purchase governorship of Auroria? Could you imagine? <laughs> um, I'm not sure um, exactly how. I, th I think we have to make them. I think we have to make them from blueprints, which means we might need... Um, there's a sensitive matter... Hmm, 2,000 Marines? Wow, that's a raid. That's a raid. Uh, invasion operation? Uh, Jashad? Wow, that's a very long way away. And Magellan? Wow, the Magellan... Oh, no, no chance. A size 8 Magellan military world? <laughs> they have... <laughs> they have 7,200 from militia, 7,200 from Marines, and 1,400 heavy units. There's not a chance. Not right now. No way. Not a chance. Um, become a supplier of metals. We can't do that at the moment, unfortunately, either. No, we can't. We'll pop down, pop down to the bar. Um, there's a Ludic Partha down here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, he wants to. He wants to uh, defect, huh? He wants. To defect. He can handle his own problems. We don't like Parthas. Um, woman in a fine suit wants us to raid the Tritachion. No, thank you. No, thank you. So, I am. Um, oh, hello, Summer Hines. You look lovely. What can you do? You're aggressive. You have combat endurance and impact mitigation. We'll hire you. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, we needed another officer anyway. So that is wonderful. And, uh... Oh, the September doesn't have an officer yet, does it? No. Well, who's piloting what here? Um... Hmm. You've got elite impact mitigation, which is good for being in an Exoria. 
You have elite point defense. You know what? You can go ahead. Alon Perez, you can go ahead and captain the September. Uh, we have an Isonori that needs captaining as well. Uh, we want to keep Mizuki uh, in the Lightning Strike just because of her advanced support doctrine. Just like massively makes the Lightning Strike so super, super, super much better. Uh, Iskra has some level ups that we can do. Uh, we will go ahead and target analysis. Uh, yes. Um, we will. Ooh, helmsmanship, gunnery implants. No, we'll go gunnery implants. Uh, we'll go missile specialization. Wonderful. And I guess summer heens. You are incredibly given the command of an Isonoria straight off the bat. Um, as a lieutenant, that is, uh, well, you, uh, you have been done, you have been done a great honor. I hope you recognize that. I hope you recognize that. So, uh, I really wish I could work out how to get the Tau fans. They're definitely not here. Uh, though I will pick up this Meniscar because Meniscars are always hiding from me. Um, so I will go ahead and pick up the Meniscar. Uh, it looks like we can't sell anything to the Automata Logistics, which is, I mean, fair enough, right? Um, maybe let's go check. Let's go check. Let's go check the uh, New Aurora November to see if the Tau fans are there. Maybe the Tau fans are here. Arias, Lumians, Minerskis, Penguas. Revere and Super Aria. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Curious and curious. I do not know. Semi brief launcher. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I kind of like the sound of that. I kind of like the sound of putting another semi brief launcher out on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Still no trias. Still no trias uh, available by the looks of things. Another semi brev launcher. Goodness me. Um, really just looking for that that tria sea whiz that just doesn't seem to be uh, becoming available at the moment, which is a real shame. Um, but fine. Uh, so no tile fans. No Tau fans uh, at the moment. Which is a real shame. Real, real shame. Hmm. I will have to... I, I think I think the Tau fan... I believe the Tau fan you have to craft. I believe you have to craft. I don't think you can purchase it. I'm not 100% sure on that one, though. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um... So I don't know. But I want Tal fans. I want Tal fans so very badly. I really do. Anyway, what are we going to do now? Um, that's a very, very good question, Tim. That's a very, very good question. What are we going to do now? Many things, I'm sure. Uh, but... Uh, well, I guess actually, hold on. Let's go to the November. You know what? That's definitely something that we need to do. Is we need to go to uh, November fleet. And... Oh, the Exoria M's are gone. Oh, no. Oh, that's a mess. Whoops. We didn't jump on the, uh, the Exoria M's quick enough, and now they are not available anymore. Oof. Uh... Damn, well, that, I was gonna, I was gonna buy a couple of Exoria M's for the fleet, but uh, clearly now I'm not. Uh, it's interesting with the Shinoria. I feel like the Shinoria SPs are just generally weaker than than the Exorias. I, I feel like I prefer the Exoria M's over the Shinoria SPs generally. Um, we could pick up another new Exoria, but I really, I don't think we need to. I don't think we need more battleships. I think we need more smaller craft. Um, truly, I think, is what we need. So, uh, with that... With that said... 
with that said okay what i think we're gonna do is i think we're gonna end the episode there um i'm not entirely sure how long this was gonna, gonna be because it was a whole bunch of different recordings uh so hopefully it is of the correct length but uh otherwise next episode i think we will jump into the nautia uh remnant quest line and do some of that uh that sounds fun that sounds exciting I will see you guys next time. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing and don't forget to check me out on Twitch in the description below. And also check out the Discord for information about the mod that I am working on. Uh, but otherwise, guys, stay safe in the stars. Farewell.